Our last hour with yes. uh, Peter Thomas Roth, and you may have seen it on my hand. Boy, was I surprised when I saw the clearance price. This is now under a hundred dollars for a solid sterling silver and gemstone basket weave ring in this great bypass design. We have it for you in either your choice of the turquoise, which I am wearing. Look at the pristine of that turquoise, just beautiful, vibrant. But then we also have it for you in iolite, and the iolite has been done in cabochons. So again, it might look black on your screen. I'm just gonna take that off of there for one second so that I can hold it so that you can see. I can like, see the purple hues from the there. Side. Yes. Yeah, almost I call this, I call iolite indigo because it's kind yes. of like that purpley yep. blue, right? Yep. No, if sapphire and amethyst had a baby, baby they'd name it would... iolite. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Come over here, iolite. <laughs> Put that down. But I mean, look at that. I mean, it's it's gorgeous. Where did the inspiration from this pattern come from, Scott? So this is our basket weave I that we it. that we first designed for our Botswana collection. This is that out of Africa, and the basket weave came together after. Again, I think it was day four or five in Botswana with the Kahlari Bushmen. We went down a riverbed. And as we were going through, there was a group of tribal women who some were on the bank and they were actually weaving baskets and some were actually using the baskets they have woven to fish. Wow. So I'm like, well, could we please stop over? So we stopped there and the translator was there with me, our local guide. And then I immediately assumed like, oh, this must be a family. I mean, do you all know and do you all know each I'm the nosy Nelly. <laughs> so what are you doing? How many kids do you have? And and from there, I automatically assume it must be one family. And it was amazing. My my mom who was passed, I, um, she used to always say, she goes, You can travel the globe and meet a friend. Yeah. And it comes down so to So true. <laughs> Isn't that so true about him, Katya? So He's lovely. never met a stranger. No, which can be dangerous at times, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, but, but you know what it was? So as I'm there, it was amazing. Although this group of, of women were completely different in me from every aesthetic way you looked, from, from where they were born, their culture, everything about them, they were the exact same. All of the ladies there came from different tribes uh -huh. who all they, be, they then became, it was their, I call them family. Mm -hmm. Friends by choice, it's yeah. their family, <laughs> or family by choice, their yeah. family. And it was a way that all the women came together, and while some of them would weave the baskets, they would sit there and talk about, uh, like everything, their husbands, their kids, yeah. their mother-in-laws. I mean, the same concerns and conversations that we have here. Yes. And to sit there and see that camaraderie, to see that community, I'm like, we have to come up with something. And those of you who really love beautiful woven baskets, you know the Botswana basket without even know that you already know it. They are known for dyeing their pigments with the most beautiful florals and also the um, spice. And then they do this tight weave so from there, that became, that's the long story, mm -hmm. for, for, for that, what you see on the Love shank it. there, that tight woven. The reason why I did, which in the, the design is that bypass, of course it's called bypass, but it was originally inspired by, by Napoleon's engagement ring. Ooh. So Napoleon's engagement ring was two sapphires that laid side by side. It was called toi et moi, you and me forever we shall be. Hmm. So as Jill knows, any story, anything that can shed a tear, I fall in love with and I'm like, oh my gosh, that is so romantic. No, no, I'm thinking, I go, so which two, you should see, my, okay, Olive is five, my daughter is five years old. Every piece I've ever made, I've made one for her. Yes. Because I'm like, that is me and Olive. And then, and then all of a sudden I'm like, well, maybe it's Christian and Olive. And right. then, I mean, but, but everything has a significance. Everything can speak to you. What we bring you is quality. So on anything you're going to see any time that I'm presenting, and especially here during this hour, if you see a piece that you love, know that the quality, and my good friend Jill is here to say, trust me or don't trust me. Yeah. Go for it or don't, because she knows what you love. Yes. Well, I know what I love. Yes. And I know what I want in jewelry. And I don't want it to be flimsy and lightweight. And I don't want to get something where I've spent almost $100 on it and get it at home and be like, chance. Uh -huh. That's like a bummer. Wah, wah. I was so hopeful it was going to have some feel to it, and it doesn't. That's not this brand. That's why I have been such an advocate for this brand. You've been an amazing ambassador. I love the John Hardy Couture brand, and I love how we've been able to take elements of what a couture customer expects in jewelry and bring it to all of you at QVC. Because here's what I've always known about all of you in my 25 plus years here. You'll spend the money, 
but you want to make sure that what you get for that money is exceeding your expectation. Yes. And my message to Scott has always been, if you're going to give it to her, <laughs> give it to her. Because she'll pay for it, and then yeah. she'll make it customer top rated because she loves it. And so to that point, here is a ring that is a $150 ring. I mean, worth every penny of $150. Genuine natural of origin gemstones. They had to match those turquoise stones to perfection to make sure there was no matrix in them. Yes. So that you have that true clean blue, the way a Persian turquoise, or in our more modern time, a Sleeping Beauty turquoise might look, right? So all of that is completely matched to perfection. It's cast. That means it's weighty. That means it's not just a strip of metal. No. It's poured molten metal that's formed into that most intricate look at every single one of what looks like was woven strips of silver going in and out of that weave pattern. I also love this piece for those of you who also have an affinity for Southwestern jewelry. Because I feel like this is a piece that will cross over totally into agree. some of your Carolyn Pollock yes, pieces, uh, pieces or pieces that you have, you know, vintage pieces you've collected. Like there's this cool vibe in the high low of the silver and oxidation. And how's the comfort for and you? And then the beautiful color. Oh my gosh, the comfort is awesome. Is, is it, yeah. it, so is it, is it glove worthy? Could totally you put a glove, slip worthy. glove? Okay. Yes, 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 and yes. Feels good, glides on, doesn't get in my way, gives me a nice.